Guys, please confirm to me. All of you get me voice on screen. Those are attending in online. Guys, please confirm to me. All of you get me voice on screen. Those are attending in online. Guys, please confirm to me. All of you get me voice on screen. Please come this side. Come forward. <clears throat> Guys, please confirm to me. All of you get me voice on screen. Those are attending in online. Please check it, guys. Please respond for me. All of you get me voice on screen. Those are attending in online. Guys, please confirm to me. All of you get me voice on the screen. Those are attending in online. Please respond for me, guys. All of you get me voice on the screen. Those are attending in online. Please check it. Please respond for me. All of you get me voice on the screen. Those are attending in online. Please respond for me, guys. All of you get me voice on the screen. Those are attending in online. No response. Guys, please respond for me. All of you get me voice on screen. Those are attending in online. Is my voice is clear to all of you guys? No response. Guys, please confirm to me. All of you get me voice on screen. Those are attending in online. Hmm? Guys, please confirm to me. All of you get me voice on the screen. Those who are attending in online. Is my voice is clear to all of you guys? Are you Then why you are not giving response now? Guys, what happened? Guys, what happened? Why oh, you're not giving response? Am I audible? Guys, please respond for me. Am I audible? Or get me a voice on the screen. Please confirm to me. Guys, please respond for me. All of you get me a voice on the screen. Is my voice is clear to all of you? Am I audible? Oh, nice. Yeah, it's okay. Nice, nice, nice. All right, sir. <clears throat> and um, check it. Uh, what we completed uh, in the last session. 
I think so. We prepared some programs there. How to use TIFO driver in our JDBs applications? That part we understand clearly. All right, sir. Now, today we are going to see one more example. I think yesterday I have given some assignment to you, but how much, how many of you are completed that? Uh, it's not really the problem there. Now let us uh, complete the content. Let us let us understand the content here. That's why people are very less again. I think people are taking all this. Huh? Pongal all this. <laughs> right, sir. So, due to some reasons like bus tickets are not available, so that one day before, two days before. But these many days before is not, not, not the right thing, right? Fine. Anyway, then, as per the schedule, any of you are leaving from IDBED tomorrow? Day of tomorrow? Again, less members. Okay, fine. All right, sir. then we will check it anyway. Then we are having video support now. Then you can utilize it if you are missing any class. But anyway, officially 12th onwards, no class are going to be happen up to 17th, maybe 18th next class. Definitely at any cost, 18th we are going to start the sessions continuously. All right, now let's observe carefully. Uh, then after that, this example I want to prepare, try to put more consonation. All right, sir, I'm requesting to everybody regular practice is important whatever the examples i am finishing inside the class try to practice these examples uh, for the sake of completing your examples i am giving number of alternatives to you actually in my last batch also first i started with oracle in the middle of the jdbs i started with mysql but for the sake of your comfort i started both the databases right from very first application in the case if you are unable to work with one database we can start your work with what their other database now so at any cost, you should not stop your practice. You have to complete your examples. Any database we can use, sir, for maximum applications. If any difference is available between two, both the databases, no, I will highlight the differences. Okay, but understand it. With the type for driver array kill, then what is the error? Please uh, type that exception message. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely I'll check it. All right, sir. So let's understand this. I'm going to use this Eclipse ID as of now. Even still, if you are feeling poor with the Eclipse ID, I'll start immediately IntelliJ ID also. But order we have to maintain. That's why I'm waiting for that. Don't worry. Then definitely I will talk with you regarding that IntelliJ ID also very soon. Right. This is a program. Now I want to prepare another example. ABB04. Now here I want to prepare ABB05. ABP05. All right, sir. Everything is okay. Click on next button and click on finish button. Uh, I'm requesting to all in the case in Oracle, if the program is not working, don't worry. Then better to try the same example with MySQL database. You will not get any issue with the MySQL database. Whatever the approach you have given, try to follow this. Okay. All right, sir. Now I want to use what their Oracle database. Just give a minute of time, guys. Let me go for some setups now. The ID is not good. All right, sir. Now see this. Let me add a jar file. Properties Java build path, class path. 
add external jars we can use either of the databases now any database we can use it depends on your requirement in the future jdbs applications i will show how to connect with more than one database in a simple jdbs application understand guys what i am telling to you okay Might give one minute of time. Right. Now let me go for like what there. Database Oracle database. I want to use Oracle 21 XE, then DB Home, DB Home. Next one is like what there? JDBC. Insert this JDBC lib. Then where we have to use what there? Oh, JDBC 11 Dodger. Open. Right. So now here we are getting it. Apply, apply and close. That's okay. Fine. Reference libraries we are getting there. Oh, JDBC 11 Dodger file is existed. That's okay. Fine. Right click on SRC and a new. Here I need to go for like what there? I need to prepare a class. Now, first of all, let me take like what there a package. What is the package here? I've taken there com dot Durga soft dot app05 dot test test is a package name and the class name should be like what the tester main method is required. Select this main method. We selected it then click on what button here finish button. Now here we are getting like what their test class. Inside the test class, then what we have to do there observe carefully. Then after getting this test class there, next one is we need to go for like what their throws keywords. At starting point of the program here, we have to go for what their throws keyword. But later on, next examples onwards, I will show how to use uh, try catch finally, and then how to use try with resources. Step by step, we are going to understand. Now let us go for like what their throws exception. Throws exception here, we are able to use. All right. Now tell me I need to take dynamic input or not. I need to take what there dynamic input to take this dynamic input. First we have to create what their buffer reader. Definitely we require that buffer reader. Buffer reader. Buffer reader buffer reader is equal to new buffer reader of new input stream reader. Then where we have to provide like what there system dot in semicolon here we are getting it. Then after that after getting this particular one. Next one is like what there buffer data is okay. Next we need to go for like what there class dot for name method. Load and register the driver right class dot for name method. What is this for name method here? What we have to provide there driver class name. Try for driver provided by Oracle database. Try for driver provided by Oracle database. Now tell me what is the driver class name there? Come on. Oracle dot JDBC dot Oracle driver. Class dot for name of Oracle dot JDBC dot Oracle driver. Driver class name here we provided. Next one is what there? Connection. Connection is equal to driver manager dot get connection here we have to provide driver manager dot get connection inside this get connection here what we are doing there we need to provide three parameters first one is a driver url what is this driver url there now tell me jdbc colon oracle colon thin colon at the rate local host colon 1521 colon xe all right sir then what is the database username there system in my in my database initialization a given system is a username next one is what there durga is a password semicolon that's completed all right so now tell me what update we created no connection object here we created got it or not next one is after that after completion of this connection object what next one here we are doing there after getting this connection object we need to go for statement object we have to create statement object now statement 
statement is equal to connection dot create statement method here we have used okay create statement is also ready uh, then what next one we have to write and execute the sql query uh, what is my requirement actually my requirement is i want to create a table in the database i'm so careful guys all of you know i want to create a table in the database okay but to create a table in the database what data i require what data i have to provide inside the database in the, inside the query of course i'm able to write the query like what there also carefully i can write the query like what there create a table table name okay emp1 for example also carefully what i'm telling you know eno column name data type of some size okay then is it primary key or not it's a primary key next one is what their e name again column name again what their data type where care to of size we have to provide 10 now comma next one is a <clears throat> column e cell float of five comma that means data type as well as like what their size size of the column that we require clearly next one is after that what next one here we are doing there e a d d r where gar 2 of 10 what we required so now tell me again column name data type and size so this is my sql query now tell me if i execute this sql query guys observe carefully what data is required to provide inside this sql query if you want to execute this so first one is what their table name is one thing one time only we have to take table name but how many columns here we are providing there four columns we are providing but what i'm what i'm going to implement in my application no every time i will ask to the user first record first column data anyway user will enter minimum one column is required so user will enter that after providing this first column i will ask that user you want to enter one more column or not if user says yes i want to enter one more column I have to repeat the same process. Again, I have to take column data. That means column name. Then after that, what next one can know? Column data type. Then after that, what next one can know? Column size. Understand it clearly. So I need to take like what the table name. After that, column name, column data type, column size. These many things I have to take now. But for every column, I have to ask there whether it is a primary key or not whether it is primary key or not if it is primary key if user says that this is a primary key then i have to declare that key as what their primary key that's my point here maybe in the databases we may use one key as a primary key one column as a primary key or more than one column also as what their primary key composite keys we can use yes, sir, got my point or not? even that option also we get we have to allow in our jdbs application so anyway then what data is required primarily table name one time column name column data type column size is it primary key or not repeatedly we have to get the details from the user got my point or not so one column data user might be provided after getting all the data i'll ask that user you want to include one more column or not if user says yes i'll repeat again the same process i'll repeat, uh, I'll repeat again the same process if user says no no after entering five or four columns data no then I'll ask the user, you want to enter one more column or not? If user says no, then finish. I have to stop that process there. Then I'll finalize the query. I have to execute that query. I have to create a table in the database table. That's my requirement. Right. Now it's okay, fine. If you execute this particular query, how many primary key keys here? How many columns are included in the primary key? If you execute this query, as is no. How many columns are available in the primary key? Only one column. What is that column here? No, ENO column. Am I right or not? ENO column. But now I'm telling to you, observe carefully. If you want to write more than one column as a primary key, then we have to change the query style a little bit. What is that query here? We have to write there. Observe carefully. Create table, table name. Say for example, EMP1 of observe carefully. ENO number 5. Don't use primary key there directly. Comma. E name. Where care two of ten, comma, 
E cell float of five comma E A D D R where care two of ten comma at the end after providing all the columns now here we have to use what their primary key of columns list here we have to provide two columns I want to make it as a primary key in this style here we have to follow if you want to provide more than one column as a primary key so this is for what their single column as a primary key and now this is like what the multiple columns as a primary key first one is a single column as primary key and second one is what there multiple columns as a primary key yes, sir. all of you get me a point or not so these queries here we have to prepare now my application i want to prepare an application for this particular thing not for this particular one this particular thing why because how many columns we are going to make it as a primary key that depends on the user option that is not in our our hand the developer has to prepare the program as for the user convenience user wants to keep one column or more than one column as a primary key we have to left out that option to the user we should not put any constraint to the user that's why we have to prepare jdbc program with this particular query yes sir all of you are getting it or not okay so carefully each and every statement in my program then only you can understand i'm telling to you it is a somewhat difficult program only but still we are able to manage it still we are able to understand the point here each and every one now try to understand the program here all right sir. then after that up to no statement object here i created uh, then after that now here i need to take table name or not i need to take table name or not now ask the user sys not outer print ln of print of table name user will enter the table name we have to get the table name string of table name is equal to what we have to do there buffered reader dot or read line method buffer reader dot read line method here we are getting table name uh, with this table name i want to prepare my sql query up to know what i want to prepare there my sql query create space table space table name parenthesis up to this i can prepare with my available data am i right or not so because of that reason then what i am telling to you string query is equal to here what i am preparing there create table observe carefully in my sql query after the table keyword space is available or not okay now here what i am going to do there table space create space table space what next one here after that after the space i have to provide table name or not that's why here what i have to do there space are given then after that plus a plus a table name up to this is okay fine then after that what next one here we have to do there after this table name parenthesis we have to include or not left to parenthesis we have to include so here we have to provide like what there here no after that after the table name i have to take what there plus a then a double quotation start where parenthesis here we have to use left parenthesis here we have to provide so this i completed up to now that means what is my query here completed here no create table emp1 up to this here we completed i right, don't worry i want to write my query separately here time to time time to time i want to write my query here now try to observe this clearly create table emp1 parenthesis yes sir got it or not uh, then what next one there now tell me what we have to provide ENO number then what next one size that that we have to collect the data we have to collect from what there from the user am I right or not so because of that reason here what I am telling to you after this I want to take like what there while look now tell me how many records here we want to prepare there how many how many columns here we want to provide there now tell me how many columns here we want to provide there do you have any fixed size uh, is it is it in a, a fixed size is it three columns or four columns do you want to specify that no but i don't know how many columns i'm going to take means that i don't know how many times my loop body is going to be repeated when you don't know the number of loop iterations if you know the number of loop iterations then we can go for for loop but when we don't know the number of loop iterations there we have to go for what there while loop while loop is what there in which case we have to use while loop there when we don't know the number of iterations how many iterations we are going to perform on the loop body we don't know there we have to go for what there while loop 
when we know the number of iterations in a loop of body say i want to go for five times i want to execute my loop body six times i want to execute my loop body then go for what there for loop there right sir but i don't know how many times i'm going to use that they take infinite loop while true while true i will until user says continue continue i'll continue the loop when user says no i want to stop it now break the loop break is available break statement to break the loop continue statement is available to continue next iteration i'm going to control this effectively and try to understand this now while true while true means that we are in an infinite loop now i will ask that user system dot out dot print ln of print of what is that one you know all right column name what we are providing there no column name i'm asking there of course first column name only no problem column name user will enter that column name or not so we have to get that column name here string column name is equal to string column name is equal to buffered reader dot read line method that's it. now here what we are taking no column name here we are taking or not that's okay fine next one is column name is okay column data type also we have to take System dot out dot print ln of sys not out dot print of column data type column data type column data type now the column data type I'm going to take in the form of a string value or not and a string uh, column type of is equal to here we have to take like what there buffer reader dot job read line method here we are going to take column type also we here we are getting column name then what next one here column data type both we are getting there then after that column size here we have to get or not what we have to get there next one column size here we have to get or not now here sys not outed print in off sys not outed print off here we have to get column size column size here i want to get better to go for column type that's enough right sir column size now that size value i want to take in the form of an integer to get the data in the form of integer then what we have to do there int column size is equal to into column size is equal to all of you guys observe carefully into column size is equal to or else let me explain clearly buffered reader dot read method if i use for example as for your awareness what is this actually read method is able to read an integer value but what it will return that integer value you know whatever the data for example 5 are given that 5 it will not return it will return the ascii value of the file if i enter character some c some d for example it will return the ascii value of the t so read method is able to read an ascii value of the entered character first character only that too but my requirement is not ascii value my requirement is what their actual integer value if i enter 5 5 i want to get if i enter 10 10 i want to get now so that's why we should not use read method we have to use what their read line method only if we use read line method then what will happen there data whatever the data I entered for example if i entered that five will be taken in the form of double quotations like string value five is available but in string value if i enter 10 10 value will return but in the form of string value but my requirement is what there i don't want to get that five in the form of string i want to get that five in the form of what there integer here that's why here what we have to do there then we have to use wrapper classes that is what their integer torture parse int method here we have to use insert this parse into method here we have to use like what there buffered reader buffered reader here we have to use dot or read line method here we have to use that's it so integer dot parse int of buffered reader dot read line method buffered reader dot read line method is able to take that provided integer value in the form of string integer dot parse int method will convert that is string uh, integer value to original integer value finally here we are getting that what their column size also we here we are getting All right sir now our required data here we are getting or not what data we are getting there now tell me first one is what their column name column type and column size with this what we are able to prepare then also carefully 
with these things en o number 5 up to that we are able to prepare or not next comma also we are able to provide or not with this query now let me complete this let me go for it now all right so then immediately what i want to do there uh -huh. then here itself i want to take the data like what there is it primary key or not i want to check it all right so now get uh, after that i'll go for what there query preparation i want to do in the sequence i want to take the same data what did you know is a primary key is a primary key say yes or no if user says no we have to collect it as a primary key is it got it or not All right sir now here we have to take this one here string string primary key option pk option is nothing but what there primary key option is equal to i am going to take buffered reader dot read line method i am going to take now observe carefully if it is a primary key i have to collect all the primary keys as a single variable at the end of the query i will add all the primary keys is it got my point or not if it is a primary key i need to collect all the primary keys is in a single one am i right or not so here what i am going to do there so here i will prepare one uh, variable what variable here i want to prepare there observe carefully here at starting point of the program i want to create a variable string uh, primary keys is equal to empty string primary keys is equal to what there empty uh, now let's observe carefully here what i am going to do there if if pk option dot equals ignore case capital letters or lower letters that doesn't matter here pk option of uh, uh, might be pk option that means pk option dot equals ignore case of say for example if it is yes if it is yes if user says yes that current column is a primary key then we need to add that primary keys to a particular variable or not Uh, already i have taken a variable here what is that variable here i have to take there right sir primary key primary keys is equal to here we have to add like what there current column column name is already existed here now so here we have to add like what there primary keys plus uh, here we have to add what there like a column name column name is existed here that we have to add that we added next to column another column is coming as a primary key or not there i am going to check this part here again here try to understand it i will again manipulate this code it is not final one here uh, then after that except this i need to prepare what my query there except primary key i need to prepare my query now here how, how this query is provided here query create a table table name left a parenthesis now i need to add column details or not uh, now, now let us check this clearly what i am going to do there query is equal to query plus uh, first of all i need to add what there column name we need to add okay now get up so carefully column name we added after the space is required or not after the column name space is required or not then after the space what we have to add there column data type parenthesis where in the middle size we have to provide uh, now here what i am telling to you after this column name we provided then a plus a space double quotation in that inside the double quotation what i provided that space will come then after that then what next one here after the space column type we have to add or not All right so now column type column type we provided after providing column type immediately double quotation left parenthesis can be provided or not then after providing left parenthesis immediately what we have to provide there column size can be have to provide or not All right so now column size plus double quotation right parenthesis understand it clearly query that means column name plus column type space column type next one is within the parenthesis we provided size or not that size here we provided here now up to this then after that comma also be we can provide directly after the parenthesis comma also be here we can provide am i right or not okay now see up to carefully here what i am telling there eno number parenthesis 5 comma comma up to this we provided we can observe carefully eno number parenthesis 5 comma up to this we got it next what next one here after this no here we we need to repeat the same process until we are getting more columns or not until we are getting more columns we have to repeat the same process or not 
uh, now gear now gear observe carefully now gear i will ask that user you want to go with the next column or not right further purpose what i am going to do there system dot out dot print of print of one more column i will ask there one more column question mark say yes or no you want to go with one more column or not i am asking to the user i need to get that user opinion or not All right so now string here uh, next column next column option is equal to buffer data dot read line method All right what we have to do if uh, next column option dot equals ignore case of yes if user says yes then what we have to do there next column we want to enter there simply we have to write what there continue am i right or not continue we have to provide am i right or not continue the entire loop again else else what is it else here no 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 next column if no next column in the sense i have to finalize my total query or not i have to finalize my query or not uh, how my query is going to be finalized here observe carefully uh, up to now what we got there for example only one column here we want to provide only this part here we provided now i want to finalize it then we need to attach the primary key column or not so then immediately we have to take like what there primary key primary key of we need to add the primary key column or not answer my point here now that's like what there up to this part here we have to provide or not not only that another parenthesis here we have to provide or not why because here we open this parenthesis again we have to enter this parenthesis or not so we need to provide like what there after comma primary key and this part here we have to add or not if it is no in the case immediately if it is no and then immediately what is the code here i have to write there else part first of all here what we have to do there query is equal to query already comma is available then here what we have to provide there after this query here we have to add like what there primary key primary space key uh, what we have to do guys observe carefully primary key parenthesis plus uh, already primary key columns are available where primary key columns are available with which variable primary keys variable am i right or not we need to add that one or not okay now observe carefully here what i am telling here primary keys that we have to provide plus uh, right parenthesis and again right parenthesis that we have to add yes, sir all of you get my point or not now this is my total query here we are getting after preparing this query in this way then we have to provide like what their break statement if user says no i want to add only these columns there no next column no next column then finalize the query then move outside of the while loop move outside of the while loop then what we have to do there after moving that outside of the loop here then we are able to provide like what there we can display first we can display the query what is right or wrong we have to identify then after that we have to execute that query is yes, it got it or not okay fine uh, i don't want to execute still my program is not completed observe carefully now tell me guys Uh, listen carefully up to now what i am telling there first column e n o number 5 o primary key okay query is prepared like what there up to how much here we prepared this query like this here we are getting am i right or not but observe carefully now here whenever we are asking whenever we are asking is it primary key or not uh, next column or not next column option or not if user says yes for example blindly we have to continue or not this part will not be executed immediately blindly we have to continue or not now again second column we provided here what is the second column there column name column type column size we are getting is primary key if user says no no problem leave it but if user says yes that second column must also be added as a primary key or not that means primary keys is equal to primary keys plus column or not column name or not that we added to the primary key we added what their primary key but observe carefully inside the primary key observe carefully this part here in the primary key of eno comma e name is required or not can i provide like this eno e name like this exception will come so comma is required or not answer my point here comma is required or not means that whenever we are adding this primary key whenever we are adding this primary key 
the second column we have to add with the comma comma then second column am i right or not but how we are able to add this how it is possible to add this okay as per our thought can i add here can i add comma here if i add comma at the time i am entering first column name with the comma it will come or not comma eno will come or not again it is a problematic thing so we should not add like this so because of that reason here what i am telling to you i want to take count variable primary key column count variable i want to take if it is a first column without comma i will add column name if it is a second onwards with the comma only i want to add that primary key columns guys all of you are following my point or not i will take a count variable what count variable can i want to take there observe carefully the count variable is like what there int pk column count pk column count initially it will be like what there zero okay mm. now observe carefully initially it is like what there zero all right sir if this case is if this case is like what i am telling there if it is a first one here now pk column count is equal to pk column count plus 1 that i am able to provide all of you observe carefully but here condition i am telling there what is that condition here if pk column count double equals to 1 now double equals to 1 in the sense only first column only first one are getting my point or not if it is a first one without comma we want to add the primary key column else come on guys else what we have to do else in the sense second column or not second column onwards more than one column anything here we specified there there what we have to provide there we need to add this column names we need to add this column names with a comma or not already one column is existed comma second column comma third column comma fourth column like this we can provide or not this is a change here we are able to do no right time to time time to the column name is column count is going to be incremented again on the basis of this only we are performing this that's how guys my total query preparation is completed with this query preparation is completed with this now let me display the value again after completion of this while loop break statement also we are able to get now get a system dot out dot print tell enough i want to display query first let me check whether my query is right or wrong if my query is right then i'll execute this query i'm able to create a table in the database now let me check this whether my query is right or wrong before going to execute it let me check it now let me execute this program right sir. now table name i want to provide what there emp1 for example column name eno column type number number right sir column size what is the column size i want to provide five is primary key yes one more column yes column name e name then column size where care to column type where care to column size is 10 is a primary key yes multiple columns at a time i am checking now try to observe carefully yes one more column yes column name is cell column type float and column size 5 primary key no two columns as a primary key i have taken that's sufficient no one more column yes then column name e addr column type is like what there where care to column size is like what there 10 is primary key no one more column no and stop this process here no then i am able to display that query how the query is prepared here now try to cross check my query here check my query here i want to copy this total part here let me copy this into the document here try to check this query is it right or wrong create space table space emp1 eno space number 5 comma e name where care 2 of 10 comma e cell float of 5 comma e dear where care 2 of 10 comma primary key of eno comma e name perfect query is right we are getting the dashed is query it will work for single column primary key also 
no problem then whenever it is created there then what is the remaining step here what is the next step here no we have to execute this query or not let me comment this not required here directly executing query is nothing sir just passing that query parameters parameter to what there execute update method now here what we have to do there statement dot um, execute update method execute update method where we have to pass query finish my query will be executed now here if you are not getting any exception there next statement will be executed automatically then what next one here i am telling there table plus a table name is available or not table name now created created successfully table name created successfully all right then what next one here we have to close everything or not not required to close everything here just if we close connection that's sufficient automatically everything will be closed but before that we have to close what there buffer data buffer data is not related to connection right that's why we have to close it separately but a connection and statement everything will be closed when we close what there connection here okay fine for the sake of you i'm going to close even this statement also statement to dot to close method also carefully so here my query is going to be executed then totally the table is going to be created let me check with my database here description emp1 is existed am i right or not okay then i don't want to disturb this one here i want to give some different table name All right sir description emp10 num now emp10 is also existed no problem drop table emp10 commit i want to create this. see not only emp table we can prepare any table with any number of columns the more flexibility user can take that option any table with any number of columns with any column names uh, let's see this i want to execute this next one is drop table student no not available anything here we can do let me check this one let me execute this program guys now then first of all i want to provide the data table name emp10 table is not available in my database no that's why i want to take emp10 column name envo then column type that's what there number then column size five is it primary key yes sir one more column yes or no right sir yes sir then column name e name then after that column type this is what their e name where care to column size is what their 10 num right sir is it primary key again yes sir all right sir next one is one more column yes sir also carefully column name e cell then type is what their float column size is what their 5 next one is what there is it primary key no as per our concept no leave this one one more column yes sir okay fine what is this column name e a d d r right sir column type is what there where care to next one is what their column size what is the column size here no 10 num also carefully if you have any spurling mistakes in the while entering the data the exception will get there entire process again we have to do okay now get column size is what there 10 num is primary key no right sir one more column no if i click on enter button executed query will be executed table must be created in the database what we are getting sir emp10 emp10 table emp10 created successfully let us check in the database here now description emp10 now. table is available or not how many columns are acting as primary keys no two columns here envo and e name here now observe carefully all right sir this is okay fine now i want to execute one more time listen all of you listen carefully one more time i want to execute it but this time what i want to there create a table student not related to emp employee student different table column name student id column type where care to column size what is the size of the column here say for example 10 i want to provide is primary key yes now one more column yes column name what is the column name here i want to provide there say for example then student name and column type is again here wire care to and column size is what is there 10 now is it primary key no student id is sufficient for me previously we have seen two columns as a primary now this time only one column one more column yes or no yes sir then what is the column name here no yes a d d r student address 
then column type is what there again given where care to next one is column size is what there 10 num is primary key no one more column no click on enter button now what we are getting there table student created successfully let me open my database here description student student table is created or not like this we can create any table with any column names with any number of columns with any column data types everything depends on what their user so actually this is real time application now it will be used in the creating sql editor product if you want to create an sql editor there where buttons are available create a table select a column names column data types and column uh, sizes there that user can select it now when he clicked on this execute button automatically query will be created query builders are available products are available query builder products so there while preparing that query builders or query like what there query players now there we are going to use this kind of requirements that's it then better practice this example just i'm going to copy this in our document here i want to delete all of them not required even this question is also not required here leave this and this is another example here i am telling there right i prepared this example now i am giving this example in what there oracle database where to create the same example with what there mysql database see the results but whenever we are entering data in mysql database no please recognize that you must enter that column data types and column sizes as per what there mysql database in the case of mysql the data type should be what there in place of number we have to use int term in place of where care to we have to use what there care have the changes there with the changes only we have to enter the data then the table is going to be created got it or not i guess now that's it now that's all for this example here then tomorrow we don't have any session there and a day after tomorrow day after tomorrow we have to uh, we are going to have session there i'm going to take what there how to insert records onto the database table so these examples are completed just for the sake of creating table in the database no tables are ready then we are going to perform the remaining operations there now right that's all guys that's all for today then we'll see the remaining part in tomorrow not on tomorrow monday i will take the class thank you thanks a lot we'll see you on monday sri 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 then uh, let me check once no then i will save my your error there i will check it once then i will give intimation to you but meanwhile try to work with mysql database you will not get any problem on monday same uh, same same time same time in the sense what the 10 o'clock sunday no class guys for advanced java sunday no class for advanced java then we have to go for what there monday right thank you